Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm going to create two very fun cards using animation stamps. So these are the animation stamps by Yuchi's Designs. There are many different designs. And the idea is actually that you stamp one of the images provided in the stamp set and then you place a grid on top of it and when you slide it, the image looks as if it is moving. I had a lot of fun playing with them today and creating two different cards, as you will see later in this video. But first I'm going to show you some of the designs. So this is the example of the stamp set that is called Growing Garden. And you see the stamp set here. All the images look kind of funny, but uh, don't worry about that. They are going to stamp funny, but once you put the grid on top, everything is going to look great. So now I'm going to grab a grid. And uh, when you place this grid on top of your image, you need to make sure that this aligns correctly with the lines of the stamp. So in this case, I'm just going to align the grid with the top of my card and I'm going to slide it and you can see all the different images as they are moving. You can see the birds flying, the flowers are uh, uh, going around and around as well as the sun. And I can see the snail or the little... Um, watering can and I think they are all adorable. And here is another stamp set. This is called Flying Owls. And as I am sliding uh, the grid there, you can see all the owls moving and I think they are so cute. I really believe that these are a very fun um, things and uh, they really give that wow factor to your cards. Now the grid is in uh, black but the ones that I have at least but they are available uh, in different colors and um, there might be some uh, grid dies coming up, so you can cut out as many of those grids as you like. Now, uh, of course, you don't have to stamp the images or with black, and you will see the example that I am going to do later on. Now, here is another fun um, stamp set. And this is the loving cat. And I think that this is adorable. Look at that uh, heart flashing. I love you at the top. I'm going to show you one more just because I cannot get enough of them. So this is another stamp set which is called Happy Birthday and obviously it is perfect for birthday cards and you can see the gifts moving uh, on or the little cat that is uh, opening its mouth as well as the little uh, bear. Is it a bear that is coming out of the box at the top? And there are way more stamp sets for you to check out, such as these butterflies, or there is another one with a ballerina that is going round and round. And you can get those uh, stamp sets separately, or if you want, you can buy these sets. These are sets that have, include everything you need to create a card, so there are dies. There is also one of those animated stamps. You will get a grid and you will get some instructions on how you can create your card, so everything is in there. And at the back of this packaging, you can see the type of the card that you are able to do. Now, there are different uh, types of these uh, sets that include the die, the grid and a little animated stamp. And you can see at the back the exact um, design. So in this uh, case, you have a slider that you slide uh, left and right. You get uh, that uh, adorable little birdie. And of course the grid mat. I'm going to show you a few of them and um, in a few minutes I'm going to put those into use and I'm going to create um, one envelope card using this set that I'm showing you here where you are just sliding a panel outside and you can see the image moving through the window and there is also a similar one but in smaller size that uh, it pretty much works uh, the same way as the larger envelope set. So I'm going to use this envelope set and create one of those little sliders. I'm going to take everything out so you can see what's included. So you get all these dies, you get one of the grids, and of course you get a stamp set, one of the stamps that is actually an animated stamp. Now of course you don't need to get the sets that have the dies, you can just buy a stamp set and uh, some uh, package with grids and you are good to go. For my project today I'm going to use pattern paper and all the pattern paper that I will be using comes from this uh, uh, pad. This is a 12 by 12 uh, pad that is called Beach Day and as always you will find links down below to the description area of uh, everything uh, that I am using. 
So now let's go ahead and create the first project. I will be using this pattern paper from that uh, paper pad collection. I am going to place that on my die cutting machine and I'm going to place this big die on top. I'm going to run it through my Sizzix machine and I will have the base for my slider card. So once you cut this out, you will see that uh, not only it cuts out, but uh, it adds some scoring lines. I'm going to use my bone folder and go over those scoring lines, making sure that everything is nice and crisp. And when I fold that, you will be able to tell where uh, the slider is going to go. Now, just because I need a window at the front, I am going to use one of the circles included in the die set, but of course if you wish so, you can use the square, just like I'm doing here. Instead I'm going to use the smaller of the circles, make sure that it's nicely centered, and when you place it on top of your die cutting machine, make sure that uh, everything is opened up and not folded, otherwise you will cut uh, a circle all the way through. So now I have my window at the front flap, and just to make it look more uh, finished, I am going to cut out a ring. You, you don't really need to do that, but um, it's, it's totally optional, but it's going to make it look uh, more beautiful. So again, I'm going to use a pattern paper from the same collection. I'm going to use both of the circles, the smaller and the bigger one, place it one inside the other. I run it again through my die cutting machine and this way I will end up having a nice uh, ring which is going to be a frame for the window that I have cut already. And now our little envelope with the window is ready to go. So all you need to do is to grab the um, grid and uh, cut it to size so that it fits behind that window. You can use your scissors, you can use your paper trimmer, it's not going to show if it's a little bit crooked. So I am going to place some tape adhesive at the back of the window and I'm going to stick that grid at the back. And always make sure that it's nicely stuck there since you don't want that grid to interfere with the panel that will slide inside and out. Now on the side I want to create a notch which is again totally optional, you don't really need to do that, I'm just, I am just want to show you the different parts of the die set and how you can use it. Now I am going to place it just outside of that uh, line, so I am going to uh, run it through my die cutting machine and this is going to create a tiny little notch. I didn't align it with the edge of my paper just because then the notch would be too big and it would almost touch my window. So now I am going to add some tape adhesive and then stick uh, the flap on top. And you can see that our little window envelope is ready to go. Now all we need to do is to create the little insert. Now for the slider I'm going to use some white cardstock and you need to cut it out to be 3 by 4 and 3 quarters. So this is going to nicely fit inside and you get a little bit uh, longer so that you can use some of these uh, dies that are included in the kit to create the flap. So now I'm going to align it with the edge of uh, my rectangle there. I'm going to uh, hold it down with some sticky tape and then I'm going to place the other one on the other side. Now this is not going to cut to anything uh, really, it's not just going to turn those edges into rounded edges just to give that uh, more finished look. And my insert is ready to go and it should fit nicely inside my envelope. And since I had my Sizzix machine uh, ready there, I decided to cut out the cover for, for the tabs. So there is a die in the set that cuts out this little uh, shape that if you fold it in half and place some glue in between, then it's going to cover up the tab that is uh, sticking out. So my uh, insert is ready to go, I'm going to insert it and see if it's working nicely and all that's left to do is to stamp the animated image. Now I'm going to show you that you can stamp either with black or with any other uh, color or thing as long as you keep uh, the lines straight and you align the grid on top with the lines of the stamp. So I'm going to slide it and I hope you can see how the sun is moving all around. 
So since this is going to be a fun card for summer, I wanted to have the sun uh, going around and around at the center. And um, although you can see that with black ink it looks more crisp and it's more um, vibrant through the grid, I want to have a fun colored uh, sun. So the, instead I decided to go with uh, yellow. And that's actually Sunshine by Simon Says Stamp Ink Pad. Now, instead of stamping it at uh, the center, I decided to go a little bit off center so that I have more uh, space to see the sun moving while I am uh, pulling the little flap. And now I'm going to put into use this tiny little stamp set which comes from my favorite things. It's called Interactive uh, labels and it's uh, full of little awards for interactive cards so I think it's the perfect match with those cards that I'm creating today and there are words such as lift, spin, shake, flip, uh, slide etc so I decided to go with uh, pull here now there is enough space on the inside to write your message and even at the back and uh, just to embellish it a little bit more I decided to go with one of the stickers from the same collection that says making a splash and I stick it that just below the window. You can fit a gift card inside that envelope and just below the image you can write your message. And here is how it works. And just because that was so much fun, I decided to create a second project. And for that, I'm going to use the set with the dies, the little image that uh, gives you a birdie, as well as the slider. And this is uh, from uh, the set that is called um, Animation Slider Circles. So for this, we will end up having a little button that we slide left and right for the image to move. Now there are instructions and the videos on their official website on how you can do that but uh, just because I don't like following uh, instructions I decided to improvise so I'm going to show you my way. So all I'm doing is cutting out a circle at uh, the center of my uh, pattern paper by using the smallest of those two circles included in the set. And by the way, my panel is four and a quarter by five and a half. Now I am going to go ahead and cut out a ring just like I did with uh, the first project. So again, I used uh, one of uh, the pattern papers from the same pa paper pad. So everything uh, is matching color wise. And when you cut out your window, make sure that you cut it towards the top so that you have enough space at the bottom for the slider. Now I am grabbing the little die that cuts out the window for the slider and I'm going to place it uh, underneath my window and uh, run it through my die cutting machine so I have a slit there. Now I am using my scissors and I'm going to cut out very thin strips of foam tape and I'm going to stick them at the back of my panel on the left and on the right side so when I place the grid later on it's not going to slide out of the card. So these are actually working as a stopper for the grid and at the same time you don't want them to be very thick otherwise you will not have enough space for the grid to move. And you can see what I mean here. Now I'm going to align it with the grid on my mat. I'm going to place the panel on top and I have a little piece of foam tape there which I'm going to stick through that uh, slit which means that this way this is going to stick where the grid is. So now I can move that foam left and right and at the same time I am moving the grid at the back. I'm going to place it on top of those stamped images so that you can see the effect. And I can definitely play with this all day. I am going to stamp the little birdie and I made sure that the lines were totally straight. I made that sure with the grid of my Misty and I'm going to stamp that directly on top of my card base. So this is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And just uh, so that I have a nice and vibrant image, I am going to stamp it twice. Now it could look awesome if you stamped the hearts with uh, red and uh, the birdie with another color but just because I made a colorful animation image previously I decided to go with black so that I, we can see the difference. Now my panel is stuck on top of my card base. Now I need to cover up that uh, foam tip somehow so I created a little uh, strip of paper there and uh, I have also cut out a heart using one of the ties included in the set. 
I'm going to stamp on top the word pull and excuse my head there. And now the cover up is ready. I'm going to stick it on top of the foam. And my animation card is ready. Now I keep calling it a birdie and my daughter says it's a fish, but uh, no matter what it is, I think it's super cute. And since this is a typical card, you can open up the flap and write your message on the inside. And these were the two projects for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I'm using down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I created a while back. Thank you all for watching!